Welcome. In this new uh, video, we will discuss uh, questions from multiple choice questions type uh, about the chapter of principles of drug uh, administration. Uh, let us now discuss the first question. Question. For safety reasons, if client is at risk of not being able to swallow safely and might aspirate, the best nursing action is to The first option, reposition the patient Second option, change the medication to a liquid form and try again Third option, withhold the medication and contact the person who prescribed it and last option is crush the medication as this decreases the chance of shocking or aspirating. The best answer for this question is number three. The safest practice is to contact the prescriber to evaluate the client's swallowing reflex or prescribe the same medications with different routes of administration. While Options 1, 2, and 4 are incorrect. Repositioning the client does not ensure safety of the airway. Medications in the liquid form are more likely to be aspirated due to their thin consistency, which makes them difficult to control in the mouth. Rushing the medication may be contraindicated, especially for extended release forms, and does not address the intactness of the swallowing reflex. Now the second question, when administering a sublingual medication, which of the following instructions should the nurse provide to the client? First one, don't chew or swallow the tablet. Two, keep the head of the bed elevated for at least one hour. Three option, keep the tablet between the gums and cheek and finally, drink a lot of water to ensure that the, tape, the tablet is dissolved. The answer is number one. Swallowing the tablet leads to early disintegration of its contact and neutralizes its action. While option two, three, and four are incorrect, elevation of the head of the bed does not have a direct impact on the pharmacodynamics of sublingual nitroglycerin. Keeping, keeping the tablet between gums and cheek is the backer route, not the sublingual route as prescribed. Drinking water will dilute the medication and push it through the GI system, minimizing its therapeutic effects. Let us see the third question. A one time or single order indicates that first option, the client can choose when he or she will use it or a medication is to be given immediately. Three option, the medication is to be given only once at specified time. And the final option, one additional dose can be administered after a routine medication order has been discontinued. The correct answer is number three. The most accurate answer is that the order is to be given only once at specified time, while option one, two, and four are incorrect. Single orders must be administered during a specific time frame to ensure consistent and adequate therapeutic levels in the blood. Stent orders are given immediately, administering an additional dose can put the client at risk of overdose. Now let us see the fourth question. When administering all medication, they should be kept as clean as possible. Which of the following types of medication must be kept sterile when administering them? Is oral solutions or vaginal irrigations or ophthalmic solutions or nasal installations? The answer is three. 
The eyes are very susceptible to infection and medication administered via the ophthalmic route must be sterile to minimize the introduction of bacteria. While option 1, 2, 4 are correct, the GI system is not sterile, so medications administered as oral solutions should be clean. The vaginal environment is clean, not sterile. Thus, medications administered via this route that don't need to be sterile. The nasal cavity is not sterile, so medications administered via this route should be clean. Now the fifth question, your client has two eye medications ordered, then yes, well, the first option, apply the second medication immediately after the first to avoid repeated irritations or contact the healthcare provider to change the scheduled times, three, wait five minutes between medications and the last option, wait two hours between medications. The best answer is number three, option three. Allow five minutes to ensure absorption of the medication will minimize interaction and provide better efficacy of the medication. Immediately applying other eye drops may lead to an inadvertent drug interaction and possible crystallization or inactivation of the administered drugs. There's no need to contact the healthcare provider or to wait two hours between medications. Okay, please comment your answer. The question is, the healthcare provider has written orders of transdermal patch for pain. The nurse knows which of the following select all that apply. There is one more than one answer. The answer is, the actual dose received by the patient from this pain patch may vary or transdermal medications completely bypass digestive enzymes or transdermal medications undergo the first pass effect in the liver or the fourth option, the last, the rate of delivery and actual dose medic of medications given by the transdermal route is can vary and finally the transdermal patch should not be applied to areas of abrasion. I will uh, be happy if you comment this answer for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching and your comments.